Hey guys, it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm on a road trip. Um, if you saw my previous video, I've installed a permanent, uh, a somewhat permanent, uh, permanent antenna solution for my Jeep here. I'm in a uh, 2017 JK and uh, I'm getting ready to take a road trip from southeastern Virginia, the Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia Beach area, up to Rhode Island. So I'm going to see how this thing holds up through the trip. Now I've got a lot of different antennas. I've got... Um, I'm starting off not right now with a 20 meter ham stick here on the back and um, it's it's pretty tall so uh, so I'm right uh, I'm getting ready to go through the Chesapeake Bay Bridge tunnel we're going to try to work some 20 for the first part of the trip because it's so early in the morning 20 meter band might be well also with me I have my um, unit in Bearcat uh, CB and I have quite a few 11 slash 10 meter antennas so we may do that and uh, and see how that goes with uh, using the, the CB on the road as well but um here it is. This is going to be my journey, and we're going to see what kind of contacts we can make and what uh, what HF radio will be like truly rolling down the road mobile. Stick around. Well, here's a good sign to the start of this trip. That's uh, Radio Encyclopedia from Cuba. So... Uh, Pretty good. It's about uh, 5:20 a.m. and uh, gray line coming in, and uh, medium wave uh, is really amazing right now. So let's hope the HF bands are well. Let's go look and see what we can do. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Stroke Mobile. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Mobile. This is cool. I'm on the eastern shore of Virginia, and um, it's getting a little bit more into the day. It's about 6:30 a.m. I can hear uh, on the 14:238 on 20 meters. I can hear uh, Australia. I can hear VKs. I'm kind of waiting for a moment to see if I can get through here. And uh, <laughs> wow, what a contact that would be! But we'll see. Kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar. CQ, 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 Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, Mobile, calling CQ, CQ, K4OGO, Mobile, calling CQ, CQ, anyone, anyone. Mobile, the Tango Hotel Romeo. Hey, thanks for taking the call. I'm actually driving in my Jeep. I'm on the eastern shore of Virginia, taking a little trip from uh, the Norfolk area up to Rhode Island. And uh, first contact of the day, I was wondering if I could get out. I'm on a G90, just 20 watts. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the five one to five three. You're about a five five, and that's probably my fault. I've got a uh, just a ham stick uh, that's mounted on the back of the uh, the backup light of my spare tire on the back of the Jeep. And like I said, I'm driving north out on the eastern shore of Virginia. I'm just a few miles from the Maryland state line, uh, riding down the road here. Thank you so much. 73. All the best, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha. St. Petersburg, Florida. From I'm almost at the uh, Maryland state line. I, I, there you go. It's working. I'm, now I'm happy. Florida, 
Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Mobile. QSL, you're 5'6. I'm 20 watts and rolling down the road in a Jeep. I'm uh, near Delaware. Thank you, 73. Okay, that's been fun. A lot of work for a couple uh, couple contacts there, but while I was rolling down the road, and uh, there, you, just to show you too earlier, that first contact, when nothing's going on, it does pay to call CQ, even when you're rolling down the road in a Jeep with 20 watts and a, probably a very compromised setup here. But anyway, that was all done with the G90. I'm going to switch it off now. I think what I'm going to do is bring the, uh, I'm going to hook up the uh, the Bearcat uh, CB and put and change antennas. I'm at the old, uh, this is a institution for Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, or what we call the Delmarva area, Wawa. I'm going to give me a snack and a drink and uh, and switch some things up here. Here's the uh, hand stick setup we've been working with here. It's, uh, it's a 20 meter hand stick there, so uh, it's coming down. I'll put up the next antenna. Okay, and then the antenna I got now is a five foot long Fire Stick 2. This is a CB antenna, it can be used for 10 meters. I use it as well. Uh, adjustable, a tunable tip at the top. This is the big one. This is the uh, five foot long one. Big five foot long fire stick. All right, let's roll. I figured uh, I'm getting into Delaware before long. I'll be uh, New Jersey on the turnpike. I would like to listen in on uh, on some CB and see what's going on here as we travel. And uh, here's my uh, Bearcat uh, unit in Bearcat 980 SSB. So uh, let's uh, let's let's roll on down the road now. Okay. Slight change of plans. I, 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 to check SWR, I used the G90 and um, I'm absolutely stunned. 10 meters is open, so I'm gonna play 10 meters for a little while, and then maybe I'll switch, uh, I'll switch over to 11 later here. But uh, yeah, I can see people on 10 meters, so um, I'm gonna listen in and ride with that. Um, while I'm uh, sitting here real quick and eat my delicious Wawa sizzling sausage biscuit, these guys, Wawa is a, 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 a big time thing. If you're a Delaware, Maryland, Virginia guy. You know all about Wawa. I think they're in Florida now too. I love Wawa. I been grew up on this here in the Delmarva. But anyway, let's get rolling. Uh, I'm in the Delaware, so Virginia, Maryland, now Delaware. Uh, this will be a good little bit. I'm in the southern part of Delaware, and then I'll get over into New Jersey. So uh, let's roll. <laughs> I thought 10 meters was open. I'm literally I can't be no more than 15 or 20 miles from those guys. So that was a. Uh, Definitely a ground wave signal here on 10 uh, with the 20 watts with the G90. I am going to flip it over to the CB here and um, and put it on 11 just so I can listen in on uh, on truckers because um, I try to drive safe or whatever, but uh, I, I have gotten a, a, a speeding ticket in Delaware before, so uh, it's always good to just to be able to listen in and, uh, and, and know what's going on to be aware. And... Um, that's where I'm going to go now. We're going to take this over to the 11 meter band with the other radio. But go back to the Bearcat. This, this is what gets me about 10 meters in ham radio. So, got the CB hooked up here, and I'm on channel 38 lower sideband. And oh my God, it's like people over here in Wisconsin, all across from the, like the Mississippi River this way. I'm in Delaware. So, it kind of makes me wonder why more people. Especially Tex. Why don't you just get on 10 and start playing, man? Start having fun. It's 11 meters. It's just packed right now. You can't even get a word in. And I, of course, I'm barefoot with about 12 watts, and these guys, I'm sure, are running power. But but uh, it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Most hams would like like just automatically just, I'm not getting on 10. 10's dead. This is why you should get on 10. More people need to get on 10, stay on 10, and make 10, you know, Make it work because it, the bands are open. If, if 11's open and I'm hearing sea beers, I'm riding down the road. I'm hearing sea beers on uh, what is uh, I believe 20 would be 27385. I believe um, if I'm hearing that, then the 10 meter band's open. Anyway, there's my uh, soapbox speech for the day. We'll try to make contact with these guys. 
Anybody got a copy on 040 Mobile rolling through Delaware? Hey, Wisconsin, do you copy 040 Delaware? I'd kind of forgotten how much of Wild West um, 11 meters is. <laughs> Tried to get in there with a few people. These guys were all running some heat, some serious heat. And my little 12 watt uh, unit in right now ain't gonna get it done. So uh, I'm gonna let's handle this. I might um, hook the G90 back up. Now this five, meter, five foot long fire stick too that I have, they claim that electrically it's five eighths wave for 11 meters, which I mean, it's not a five eight wave antenna, but it means it's got electric, got some length to it. Well, let's put the, oh, I think I'm gonna, Put the G90 on it and jump around. Go maybe check like 12 and 15, maybe back to 17, and see if I could uh, with the tuner maybe get something going on on one of those bands. Let's check it out. Well, my G90 would tune that uh, that antenna on every band, even even uh, 20 meters. I can hear a couple people on 20 meters. 15, 12, those bands are just dead. 10 is really dead. There's not a whole lot going on there for that antenna. Um, really not, not not wanting to go too deep on the CB run. I wanted to kind of play some HF ham here. So I'm getting close to New York City. It has been pouring down raining here through New Jersey. And uh, I'm about 50 miles out of New York City. I brought a uh, an HT with me. Um, this is my Woshan uh, Ocean uh, HT. I have the two meter call in frequency on it. Fiberglass top. I use this on the way to Hamvention and uh, on the two meter calling frequency, and it worked. When I get close to the city, I might see if I can make a two meter contact somewhere around New York City here. We'll give it a shot. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar Mobile standing by and listening. The two meter idea through New York was a big bowl of nothing. I'm in Connecticut now. I'm going to stop, get a snack, and uh, we're going to make an antenna change and then uh, do something a little different. Okay, the uh, five foot fire stick two antenna. Time to come down. And replacing it is the Hustler. I've got the uh, 25, I'm sorry, the 20 meter, 20 meter. Man, I'm getting tired. I've been going to like the 20 meter Hustler set up here on the back. So, uh, rest of the trip let's try a little 20 meters kilo four oscar golf oscar mobile kilo four oscar golf oscar is that correct uh, qsl that is correct the name is walt whiskey alpha lima tango i'm mobile uh on in connecticut mobile in connecticut uh, riding along the highway QSL, QSL, Coastal Waves and Wires, that's the channel. I've got the Hustler, uh, the, uh, the Hustler uh, Stinger antenna for, um, for 20 meters up. I just put it up. I've been switching antennas back and forth and uh, put this one on and uh, you're the first contact I made. What is uh, what is your QTH? Yeah, I think I lost you there, a little QSB. If you can, uh, I, if you're still hearing me, uh, I, I think I lost you. I, I heard Island. I'm sorry. Roger, Roger, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Okay, yes, for sure. And one more time with the call sign. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Victor Yankee 2 Alpha November. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much. Um, first contact since I just switched this antenna up. It's good to get you in the log there, my friend. 73. Pretty cool. Yeah, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar Mobile. You are about a 5555. I am on Interstate 95 moving uh, through Connecticut, about to enter Rhode Island. I got you a 55. You're a 59. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I, uh, I'm only running 20 watts here and uh, and a, uh, a hustler stick off the back of a Jeep there. If you don't mind, what state is that park in? Roger that. Like I said, I'm driving, so I can't I can't log and look at it right now. I do appreciate you taking the call. It's amazing. I can't believe this thing is doing that well. You're picking up too. You're up to about a five eight there as well. So hey, thanks so much for taking the call. I'm just like I said, traveling up uh, up north here, and uh, took the radio with me to have a little fun. Have a great activation, my friend. Seventy three. Well, I'm in Rhode Island, and the trip is coming to an end here. Um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, nothing spectacular. Simple, everyday antennas, traveling. Um, yeah, there's some noise issues there. I mean, I can, I, 20 meters, I could hear the engine and the, and the radio. So things I need to tweak. But um, 11 hours, I've been on the road. And I got to be honest with you, it went by like that because I was playing radio. And to me, that's what it was all about. I had a good time with it. And um and experimented around and uh, I just enjoy playing with different antennas or whatever. So if, if you want a uh, permanent mobile install, I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, for an 11 hour trip, it made it enjoyable and it went by really quick and uh, I had some fun. And I wasn't playing radio the whole time. I'd cut it off and cut on, you know, AM and FM radio and kind of, you know, spin around the dial and you know, a lot like listening to small local stations when I'm traveling as well. But um, but playing ham radio and a little CB there too. I didn't really make any contacts there. Just kind of listened in. But um, a lot of fun and I enjoyed it and um, and I had a good time. I'm going to be here in Rhode Island working for a little bit, so um, I will be out. Uh, it's the Ocean State, so uh, saltwater portable. Definitely, I've got some stuff in the back that uh, some antennas I want to build and. Um, and you'll see some uh, probably some cool locations. A lot of uh, a lot of poda spots that are like right on the ocean here. So I'm looking forward to that and want to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you're into uh, playing radio and having fun building antennas and that type of thing. Um, that's what I'm all about. Occasionally do a review. I don't do a lot of uh, you know unboxing and trying to sell you on stuff or stuff like that. Just um just having fun. Just a regular old ham radio operator enjoying the hobby and uh and documenting it with a video. Till next time guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. All the best in 73.